What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're going to be doing an Elite Figure 4-in-1 review on the brand new Flashback Series Walmart exclusive Build a Heartbreak Hotel set. <laughs> So before we get started guys, I do want to give a huge shout out to Mattel for hooking us up with these figures and our brand new Shark Target exclusive Elite figure that we picked up in yesterday's video. A huge shout out to them guys. They are absolutely fantastic for supplying these figures here for this review to make this possible. So again, huge shout out to the Elite Squad and Mattel for these amazing figures. These will be Walmart exclusive. I cannot wait till they hit retail. I'll probably pick up another Shawn Michaels or two uh, for some other custom figures, but uh, as you see see the set right here we have Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels, Doink the Clown, and Alundra Blaze. My favorite probably being Shawn Michaels, uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time so I get definitely got to like that one the most and you know the Heartbreak Hotel is all about Shawn Michaels anyways but uh, we have Razor Ramon here and I love the Hawaiian shirt and Doink and Alundra Blaze. Probably my least favorites of the set but we are going to crack all these guys open so that we can take a closer look and we are going to build the Heartbreak Hotel set and it's going to look great. We may even throw Edge and Lita in here for a little live Tech celebration or something like that. I'm not even sure. But let's go ahead and crack them out of their packaging. Alright guys, so we have the full set out of the packaging. We got Razor Ramon looking fresh to death in his pants and his shirt. Of course the sexy Shawn Michaels, Alundra Blaze, and Doink the Clown. All of their respective pieces. You got the left side of the bed with Razor Ramon. You have the curtains and the little Heartbreak Hotel sign with Shawn Michaels. You got the lamp that goes with Doink and then the right side of the bed does come with Alundra Blaze. The set you know, it isn't the greatest for, you know, current collectors. I mean, like, if you're a flashback collector, this is definitely a great set for you guys. I obviously was not alive for any of this. You know, I was born in 96, so, I mean, I was not around for any of this. I did not get to witness all of this live. I have, however, you know, gone back and watched, and I do, you know, know about everything in the Heartbreak Hotel. Pretty much what it was, guys, is pretty much what the highlight reel is, and, you know, the uh, Miz TV. That's pretty much what it was. It was an interview segment with uh, Shawn Michaels, and he would say, up the Heartbreak Hotel in the ring and he would have special guests that he would conduct interviews with. It's just to further, uh, you know, carry storylines and stuff like that and get some heat and stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty much what the Heartbreak Hotel was. And what we have in this entire set, I guess we can go ahead and start off with Razor Ramon or now nah, we'll start off with a Lunger Blaze. So we have a Lunger Blaze up first right here. And this is her first time in the line. We have never gotten an Lunger Blaze figure. We have never gotten this title belt either. And this title belt is pretty interesting. It's very tiny. It is the WWF Women's Championship. It's got an MDT pink strap on there. And it's actually, you know, a pretty, a pretty sweet title. I think that it should actually be bigger in my opinion. I feel like it's a tad small. I mean, like, if you compare her to it, I mean, like, there's little uh, buckles, like, only four little buckles. There's only two little things, and a very tiny championship, but it's pretty cool that we even got this title belt. I mean, a title belt that literally I don't think anybody would ever predict that we would get. And here's her attire looking pretty nice. I like the head sculpt. I think it does favor Alundra Blaze. Uh, it's got a new little hair piece on there. That looks great. I love the colors on this. And it's your typical women's figure. She does have the crappy arm articulation. And uh, you know how women's figures are. She only has single jointed knees. But it is a pretty cool a flashback figure right here to go in with all your flashback figures from this era. And I don't even know if we have any women from this era. But uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. You got a lunger on the butt right there. And we do have some little nice. I like her attire. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty simple for the time period. But it gets the job done. So that is a lunger blaze. Up next we do have Doink the Clown. This is our second Doink the Clown. Believe it or not, we did get him in the Elite 34 set. But this is a lot more elaborate attire. He's got like orange and uh, blue stripes going down. Yellow boots, yellow little wrists. Got a tie on there. Got this thing. I think this was like a full ones onesie type deal where he would just put it on. It was like elastic. That was pretty much his attire. Of course, his face paint. And the Elite 34 was pretty much just like this, but uh, it was more rainbowy and like white legs and black boots and stuff like that. But uh, that figure had removable hair, and this is his look from the early 90s, I do believe. So that is what Doink the Clown looks like. Pretty interesting figure, very co colorful. And the next figure we have is Shawn Michaels. This is most definitely my favorite figure from the set. I love this attire, guys, as you can tell. Um, it's pretty much just white, silver, black, and red, and there's a lot of white in it, so you know how I am. White's my favorite color. I am a fanatic for the color white. I love white attires. So this is fantastic. I love this so much. I love the kick pads. Got some silver details in there. Black open knee pads. 
This is very, very close to the ringside exclusive figure. If you've ever uh, seen that one, I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. It's very, very similar, but uh, I think I like this one just a bit better. I like the kick pads on that one because it's got some red details in it, but this one's nice. This will look great up on the Shawn Michaels shelf, so I can't wait to stick this up there. You do get its entrance vest, and it looks great. It's got a lot of silver detail and zebra stripes and stuff, buttons and all the bells and whistles like Shawn Michaels was. You know, he was a big rock star, and uh, he always had the flashy gear and stuff, so he He's looking good with that. Got his sunglasses in there as well. They are removable. That same, I believe this is the same ringside exclusive head scan, so that's interesting. The only bummer about it is that they did give him the uh, newer arm mold, which sucks, but uh, that is that is just tragic. What I'll probably end up doing is uh, buying another ringside exclusive Shawn Michaels to do like an arm swap or crack the torso and switch the torsos out because I cannot stand these arms, guys. That is just that is so dreadful, but uh, that is Shawn Michaels. Got Heartbreak Kid on the booty. And then the final figure we have is Razor Ramon, and I love this look of him. I don't exactly know what this look is, but uh, there are pictures on Google, Google Images of him in this attire, and he does have this Hawaiian shirt. I love the way they did this shirt. This shirt's actually fantastic. Uh, they did a Velcro at the bottom because if you put it together, it looks like it's like buttoned up halfway, so that's how he wore it, so it looks great. You do get his gold chains in there. Uh, very accurate looking to the picture that I'll pop up on the screen. You see that? Like, how accurate is that? We, uh, I love that they put the rolled sleeves in here. That is great as well. I may, when this hits retail, I'll probably grab a few of these just because I like this shirt. I would love to, like, do a bash at the beach pay-per-view and then put all the commentators in, you know, uh, the Hawaiian shirts or something like that. We do have these long, uh like velvet purple pants that look great. They have that IRS or build a figure articulation where they can go wide and you know spin and swivel and kick forward and backwards. So these are great articulation legs. Got white shoes on there to top it all off. And we do have this head scan and I may be wrong but I'm pretty sure this is the first uh, Scott Hall or Razor Ramon that has the toothpick in the mouth. I could be wrong. You know, I know they have a ringside exclusive. We have an Elite 51. We got the defining moments. So I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure this is the first one with the toothpick in the mouth. And I think that's a very nice, you know, uh, de attention to detail from Mattel on this. And we do have the ponytail head skin. And, of course, his very, very hairy chest. He looks great, though. That was always iconic of Scott Hall. Very, very uh, hairy guy that Razor Ramon was but that is pretty much the full uh, set right there but now that we have you know covered all the figures let's go ahead and build the Heartbreak Hotel. So if we go ahead and move the glasses and the championship belt out of the way I believe you take the piece right here and then you take this and it just clips into these holes right here I believe that's how it goes so yeah it just pieces in right there and up there and then you take your other half of the bed and you plug it in like so, just like the other side, and you clasp that together. So it goes together really tightly and neatly, so that's very nice. You don't have to worry about gappage or anything like that. And then you take those two pieces and you do piece those together. Well, that was much tougher than I thought. It is plastic though, you don't wanna like force it too hard and then it end up breaking on you. So there it goes. So it does go together very tightly, but do be careful when you're putting that thing together so it doesn't snap on you. But there is the bed or the cushion or whatever you want to call it. And then you take your lamp. That is nothing, but this is removable. You can pop that out if you'd like to or, you know, you're trying to destroy the Heartbreak Hotel. Um, and then you take these two pieces and uh, the uh, curtains right here, they have little knobs at the bottom. You just plug into the bottom here on that side and then on this side as well. And that is pretty much it. I think you can take this off if you'd like to. You have a Heartbreak Hotel sign under there. And there is your Heartbreak Hotel set. You even have your host, Shawn Michaels, right here. And uh, this stuff's probably a bit undersized. I feel like uh, everything should be probably a little bit bigger considering how big Shawn is. I guess it doesn't look that bad on camera. But uh, sort of in uh, person, it's kind of a little bit smaller than I'd like it to be. It could be a bit larger, but I still like it. It does look good with Shawn Michaels right here. So we have all the pieces here. Shawn Michaels is our host, our bed slash cushion, our lamp, and our shades with the Heartbreak Hotel little thing there. But uh, that pretty much does it for the Heartbreak Hotel set. But that pretty much does it for this 4-in-1 flashback series review on the Heartbreak Hotel Build-A-Figure Walmart exclusive set. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, 
Huge shout out to Mattel for making this video possible. Also, be on the lookout for these figures at your Walmart, guys. When you go check them out, definitely be on the lookout for these. Um, they are coming very, very soon to retail, so be on the lookout. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. Leave a like, comment down below if you'll be picking up this set. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.